Hi there. Welcome to my channel, Mo Moon Tarot. My name is Mo Moon. Welcome. Welcome to those of you who, who are new to my channel. Welcome to those of you who have already subscribed and who watch my videos, you know, um, faithfully. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you to everybody that comments on my videos. I really appreciate your support. Today I'm using the Pride Tarot, which is a collaborative deck. Um, different artists artists did different cards. I got this at the local metaphysical shop. And I'm going to use the Angelarium Oracle of Emanations Oracle deck. Um, it's by Los Carabeo. By El Eli Minaya and Peter Moherbacher. <laughs> the Angelarium Oracle of Emanations. So, if you're here, it's because you want to watch the week ahead reading. So, I will be drawing a card for every day of the week from Monday, January 17th through to Sunday, January 23rd, 2022. I've already asked for protection during this reading, and I want to tap into the general collective energy during this week for each of us. Let me know if anything resonates with you by the end of the week. So I'm gonna draw a card for each day of the week and then we'll turn them over one by one. Monday, January 17th. We've got a bunch of cards here, so I'm gonna put them down Monday Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I mean, it's Saturday, January 22nd, and Sunday, January 23rd. As well, I would like to draw a card from the Oracle of Emanations for some overall energy. For this week, we have a full moon on Monday, January 7th in the sign of Cancer. So let's see what the energy, overall energy is that we should be mindful of. We're going into Aquarius season on the 19th of January. Let's not be hasty. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I want to be hasty, but I know that there's a perfect timing for everything. Maybe this is um, a little bit, oh, interesting. Kushio, Angel of Punishment. So with the Angel of Punishment, it reminds me of a verse that I learned when I was a child. And it says, be sure your sins will find you out. Now, whether or not you believe in sins is very personal, but the idea of punishment insinuates the idea of a sin. And a sin is a word that means to miss the mark. But sin is also a word that means something that you've done wrong that needs to be punished um, as a result in order for you to serve the judgment of what you did wrong. Now this is very controversial because I don't know if I, I definitely don't believe in the idea of sins. I do believe in the idea that there are people who do bad things, murder, steal. And it's interesting because as I was shuffling the cards, I was thinking about what happened today. Let me just give you a little story. I stopped off at Starbucks and I was going to go through the drive-thru, but the drive-thru line was super line long. And, um, 
the restaurants are closed right now due to COVID. So um, everyone just waits in the lineup for the drive through. But I decided I, I forgot that the restaurants were closed. So I thought, well, I'll just go in and sit down and use the Wi-Fi and drink my coffee there. And I went in and I ordered myself a large coffee, two creams, dark roast. And I was waiting for 10 minutes for a coffee. And they put down a large cup and I took a look at it and they saw that it didn't, it wasn't my, my cup, but I started to get really frustrated about waiting and for just a coffee. It's not like they have to make the drink. They just have to pour the coffee. So I got frustrated, but I was like thinking to myself, these people here are not working in, they're not working or they're not organized to work together so that things are more efficient. They're kind of just all doing their own thing. And anyways, what happened was I saw the drink there. It wasn't my drink, but it was a large mochaccino. And I had been waiting for 10 minutes and I didn't want to wait any longer. So I had my bill with the coffee on the bill, but I had my bill waiting for my coffee and I didn't want to complain. So I took the mochaccino, the large mochaccino, and I left and I went back to my car and it was delicious. Now, some people might think, well, you stole somebody's mochaccino. You didn't pay for a mochaccino, but what's what's the big deal like they'll just make another mochaccino i didn't i didn't expect to have to wait 10 minutes for a coffee they could have easily poured it and the energy that i felt in the coffee shop was just an energy of um like 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 a better than now energy it was like an energy of like we're better than you we're serving you your coffee so you have to wait and I don't know, maybe it was just, anyways, I don't want to go on and on about the tangent about the coffee, but we have Kushil Angel of Punishment. So I think what the Angel of Punishment is telling us without reading the book is that we are our own lawmakers. We decide what we think is right and we pay for what we did when we sow the seeds that we when we reap the seeds, gro the growth of the seeds that we sow. So did I feel bad about doing that? No, I was, I had, had enough. I had, had it up to here. I was fed up. Um, I, my sister used to work at Starbucks. She used to give us free drinks all the time. They could make and throw out drinks quite easily. So I didn't think it was a problem, but the angel of punishment is saying, you decide what is right. You decide what is wrong. So let's go into the um, cards for the week. So Monday, January 17th, we have a full moon in Cancer. And we have the star card, card number 17 of the Major Arcana. And in this card, we see a mermaid, um, a merman actually, um, reaching to the, the height of the ocean, reaching up towards the sun at the top of the ocean, reaching up towards the light. So I do feel like Monday, January 7th, we have that energy of reaching towards towards the light from a deep place. Um, and the moon is an energy of the subconscious, the deep, the down, the things that are down under, the things that are under the water, the things that are deep within our emotions. The moon is an emotional energy. The moon is um, an energy of the subconscious. And so we have the star here, but the, the picture is of somebody reaching to the light. So looking towards the light, looking towards that star and feeling a sense of hope. So the energy for Monday, January 17th is an, an energy of hope, an energy of um, nurturance. We're working on our shadows. We're highly emotional because it's a full moon in Cancer. And cancer is a water sign and cancer also has to do with family and um, how you take care of your loved ones and how you take care of your home. So you could be doing something like um, cleansing your home somehow or doing some decorating in your home or doing something that makes you feel good, that makes you feel hopeful. Um, it's an it's the ener it's energy of of uh, tender and transformational energy. It's a tender and transformational energy. And the star card is interesting with the full moon in Cancer because stars and moons go together, right? When we look up into the sky, we see the moon. If it's not a dark moon, we see the moon and we see the stars. If it's not a cloudy day or cloudy night, I should say. 
So we have that balance, the harmony of the sun, of the moon and the stars, pardon me. Um, and the star card here is, is an energy of hope. So Monday is definitely a day of hope. Um, and it's a day of reaching towards the light, reaching towards working through your inner child, difficult inner child's difficulties and reaching towards illumination of consciousness. Now, Tuesday, January 18, we have the Four of Pentacles. This is a really cool card. We have the di different symbols for money. So currency, different symbols for currency. So it could be an interesting day money-wise on Tuesday, January 18th. Uh, you could be paying attention to your savings account or paying attention to a little bit more to where you're spending. Um, it's a day of being attentive to, towards that kind of thing, being attentive towards your financial stability or what you wish to save for the like at the, by the end of the new year 2022 um holding on to your money holding on to what is rightfully yours and feeling a sense of attachment to it um the pentacles is also the the suit of the element of earth so you know you're feeling close to your earthly earthly belongings you're feeling a sense of gratitude for what you have looking around your home admiring the things that you own um, or if you you know wherever you live or where, wherever you call home really appreciating the foundations that are taking care of you within your within where you call home wednesday january 19 we enter the uh, season of aquarius and we have the eight of wands and aquarius is an air sign and the air sign is uh, is regards to communication and we have the eight of wands here and if you see she's a woman um hanging up letters on a hanging um what's this thing called again the clothesline she's hanging up letters on a clothesline kind of reminds me of when people put their their xmas cards up on a on a string on, along the wall but it's definitely an energy for wednesday january 19th there's a strong energy for communication so if you want to write a letter maybe you'll receive a letter um maybe you're you're extra chatty today um maybe people are talking your ear off but there's also hearts on these letters so it's about being somebody who loves to engage in conversation so you're feeling more conversational today and of course like i said we're the sun is entering aquarius so we're going into aquarius season and aquarius is ruled by uranus and that's all about freedom individuality um aquarius energy is innovative and unpredictable aquarius energy is energy of thinking outside the box so you could be learning how to communicate in a way that you've never communicated before maybe tapping into the, the energy of your Uranus and um, doing something unpredictable. Um, of course, it doesn't mean you shouldn't think before you do something, but you're feeling a little bit more um, adventurous. Thursday, January 20th, we have the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands. This, ener this energy is very free this is a very free energy here the page of wands um picking up a tool that is useful for you picking up something that is very useful something that you will find helpful for your practice um the wands symbolize passion um motivation determination spirit even so maybe you're on thursday january 20th, 20th you're feeling more connected to your spirituality you're feeling more determined to work on your spirituality to see the growth of how far you've come up into this point spiritually to work on what you want your spiritual practice to be like and to feel like the possibilities are endless before you friday january 21st we have the ten of cups i love this card it's all about community in this card it reminds me of the gay parades that um they used to have here in montreal um, and this woman as you see she's she's holding the other woman who is pregnant here um so it's an energy it's a fertile energy it's an energy of new life 
abundance, celebration. So this is a great energy to have on Friday, January 21st. And you're feeling good. You're feeling positive. You're feeling colorful. You're feeling um, vibrant. You're feeling like there are new chapters that you will be opening up for your life and um, letting in new life, letting in new possibilities, opening up to love, um, being free. I feel like Aquarius season is in it's in its positive light. It is bringing in the energy of freedom with the Ten of Cups. We definitely see that. Saturday, January 22nd. Happy birthday. If it's your birthday, we have the Seven of Cups. Again, it's a it's a really beautiful card. There's a rainbow in this card. Um, it's like, you know, you've reached the the end of the rainbow and behind the cloud there is possibilities that are endless. So tap into that energy of abundance on Friday, January 22nd. Tap into that energy of the Seven of Cups of choice. What you want to see really what you want to see is possible what you want to accomplish is possible you just have to believe it and when you believe it you work towards it and when you work towards it you achieve it so just um look at the endless possibilities before you pick a cup any cup um feel the emotions of what how you would feel if you had that that possibility come true in your life and run for it run for it and lastly sunday january 23rd we have card number 13 death and death is about um, radical transformation. It's uh, sometimes you could feel like it's dragging you, like it's dragging you through the mud um, and you're kicking and screaming. But with this energy, just let yourself be open to the energy of radical transformation. Let yourself be open to the energy of change, of new beginnings. Um, it's really good. It's really good during Aquarius season to tap into that Aquarius energy of thought, of, of open mindedness, of, of possibilities that are endless, of communication, of, of community. Um, we have the death card, but it's just signifying radical transformation on Sunday, January 23rd. So just allow yourself to be open to change. And I know that's easier said than done because we don't like to change, but Aquarius is. Yes, Aquarius is a fixed sign, so we don't like to be ch changed, but we also embrace change if we see that change is good. So allow yourself to think through what is changing in your life on, fr on Sunday, January 23rd, and think about the possibilities and think about why you don't want to change or perhaps why you're willing to change and why you, why you want to allow this radical transformation to take place in your life and i think we're all you know always trying to i want to draw one more card from the love is love love is love from the pride tarot deck i'm gonna draw one more card for a final message overall message for all these tarot cards during the week and of course the angel of punishment that we had at the very beginning all right we have ooh. 18 the moon i think this is ellen of the ways the goddess ellen of the ways it looks like her she has antlers and she's holding a staff with a crystal ball on the top ellen of the ways is um, a goddess who embodies the energy of taking care of animals and taking care of the land and also the community that lives on the land so I think overall, with the Angel of Punishment and with this card, the moon, and of course we have the full moon as well this week, and we have the moon card here. So tap into the energy of, of how to take care of the land that you live on, how to take care of the animals that surround you, how better to take care of the people that surround you, how to tap into the energy of the land and feel the energy of the land, and how to make your own decision based on your own conscience. Allow your conscience to speak to you, allow your intuition to guide you and to tell you what is right so that you follow your heart. And sometimes it's not always clear with this card, the moon. Sometimes we have to let our subconscious come up and make itself known in the light in order to make our move. So just wait for the light to come to you to illuminate your mind. And when it does, then you can make your move. 
So that's it. That's the reading for this week, Monday, January 17th to Sunday, January 23rd. I hope it was a helpful reading. If it was, be sure to leave this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and I'll be happy to get back to you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you would like to, please do so. Also, if any of this stuff resonates with you by the end of the week, let me know. I'd love to hear back from you. My name is Mo Moon, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks, guys. Thanks, girls. Thanks, people.